Hey everyone, um, I want to show you how I use uh, Pro uh, Adrenaline. Um, I actually love this thing. Nice thing about it, what I use it for is actually getting rid of the fish eye effect and stabilizing my videos from my uh, GoPro. So um, I actually have a whole bunch of video that I've that I captured from when I was down exploring the uh, Mayan ruins down in Central America. So I'm going to choose a very small clip here, and I believe this one here, yeah, that's a good one. That's only 15 seconds, so let's take a peek at it. Does it jiggle around good? Yeah, it definitely jiggling. You can see it jiggling as we're walking along here and stuff. So th this is actually a really good one to use. So I'm going to move it back to the beginning. So that there we are. That's my daughter in the right-hand side, by the way. Um, First thing I want to show you, you notice there's kind of like a fisheye effect on here and stuff. So what you do is you've got different profiles and it comes with all these by default. So I'm just going to choose my uh, GoPro Hero 3 pro profile and you're going to notice right off the hop the fisheye effect disappears. Now how it does that is it actually stretches it out and pulls all the image in and smooths everything out. So up here you can actually zoom in and out so if I actually zoom out what you're going to see are these black lines that appear up the top here and stuff it, it's a cool little effect but as a general rule you really want to make sure that that you're getting them out of there as a general rule you can usually get around 98 percent 97 percent you can see at 97 we're actually getting it up the top there so I'm gonna actually just leave it at a hundred percent Speaking of which, over here you've got virtual camera adjustments. So you can actually pan, if you want to pan, you can actually pan around. It's smart enough to figure out how to do this. I'm not quite sure how it does this. You can tilt up and down. I would imagine eventually we're going to hit the edge. There's my daughter coming in or whatever, and it's going to change. So, oh, there you go. So we went too far, obviously. So. You can actually bring it all up and around and it tilts and we've also got the roll effect as well if you wanted to actually roll the picture. So anyways, I don't use them but um, other people may for effects and creative um, abilities, who knows. The, the other thing we've got here is we've got the actual view mode. Um, you can view the optimized image, you can view the actual source so you'll notice if I flip back and forth you can see that fisheye disappear out of there you can do a horizontal compare so it'll show you the unoptimized video on the left hand side where the pro adrenaline has a red X th through it and the optimized one on the right hand side you click on vertical it shows you the unoptimized one up at the top and the optimized on the bottom I like to use the uh, horizontal compare myself now the other nice thing that's up here is that you'll notice that when you actually go and process this and stuff, you may lose some of the coloration and you need to adjust things. They got a bunch of nice presets up here. So if you actually go through, you can see the effect of each one in the right hand pane compared to the left hand pane. So sometimes I like to do this just because my video didn't turn out all that well. So I'll go through and find out, find one that I actually like. So that one is kind of nice, but I think I would prefer this one here because it's closer to what my memory was. So I'm going to choose it. Now it's a little bright. So all these do are manipulate the clip adjustments over here. So if I go to the clip adjustments, you'll see the white balance is way down. So if I bring it back up some, it starts to bring it back into more of a realistic tone compared to what the other one was. But I like to have it a little bit like this because it brightens things up and stuff. So anyways, we got, we've got the clip adjustments here. You can do everything manually as well. You can play with the contrast, brightness, saturation, white uh, balance, whatever you want. It's actually pr pretty cool. Um, over here in the information tab, it just gives you information about your video, how long it is, what the size is, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> that's how that works. Now, one of the really cool things, because we took out the fisheye over here, 
we've got the stabilization effect here. So if I click on stabilize video, what it's going to do is it's actually going to start up. You'll notice over here on the right hand side, it's figuring out the horizontal shift, the vertical shift, rolls, zooms, pans, tilts, and it's sorting everything out and smoothing it out and stabilizing the video based upon what it's figuring out there. It's all fully automated. Now, they've got another tool called Mercalli that's far more advanced than this, but the price is way more advanced too. I should mention that uh, I bought this software for, I think it was $49, and right now they've got it, they've got it on, uh, on sale, I think, for an additional 20% off or something like that. I think it's like 35 bucks. So uh, for this type of functionality, 35 bucks is nothing. So anyways, um, I thought I'd mention that to you and stuff because, uh, yeah, I would get it. I did get it. <laughs> anyways, um, so they've also got this uh, rolling shutter compensation function. Now, if I turn that off, you'll see how that actually shrunk in and shrunk out. So I'm going to turn it on because I usually do, and we're going to leave it there. So now that we've done all this, I'll just click play and watch what happens. Look at the right hand side. It's smooth, smooth, smooth. Whereas the left hand side's jiggling around. It's like, it's really quite amazing. For 30 or 40 bucks, whatever it is for this software, um, yeah, this is amazing. So I use this for all my GoPro videos um, when I'm uh, exploring, when I'm hiking, when I'm skiing. I use it for all kinds of different stuff and it is certainly a heck of a lot cheaper than going out and buying an actual stabilization mount. So anyways, that's me giving these guys a little bit of a plug. So anyways, um, over here on the right hand side you can also see your um, media bin and when you actually output it, it'll put the output in here as well. So speaking of which, we've done everything I wanted to do with the video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply click up here on Export Optimized Media. I'm going to export it out to a folder that I want to send it to. So I've actually got it set in there right now to the demos. I could click over here and choose one. Or if I've got a bunch of defaults, I can choose them out of here because it'll save them and stuff. Over here, you can actually save it in QuickTime Format or MPEG. I always use MPEG because I like it better. Here you've got the the uh, quality of the file. I always like the high quality, so I leave that on. You've got a denoise filter even in this thing, which is actually really cool. It takes all the noise out of the video and stuff. Now the thing about it is that if you want to do it, so if I'll choose medium, you'll notice there's a little warning message that comes up saying that it'll take a long time to actually process this thing. Um, just to let you know, it actually works really well. So um, it's worth the time. For this uh, demo, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to disable it because I really don't want to do, do it, uh, spend all my time here and stuff doing that. So now that I've got everything set up the way I want, all I do is I just click on Start Export. So the wild thing about it too with the view mode is that when I export this video, it's going to export it with these comparisons. So watch watch what I mean. So I'm going to click on it. It's actually going and exporting it right now. And this will take a couple of seconds, about like 19 seconds I would imagine, which is, which is the amount of the video. So um, we're going to let it go and do its thing right now. It's actually exporting it. Um, I would really, really recommend that you check out these guys' website even further because um, they probably have even more information on there than what I'm telling you. So now, now that it's done, it'll actually let you open up the actual video that you just created. So I'm gonna click on it, and what you'll see is that's the actual video. So you can see that there's, you can see in this video there's a real difference. Now. I don't want it like that. What I want it to be like is I want it to actually 
be the full screen. So I'm just going to view the optimize, and now that's actually going to export the whole thing. So I'm going to overwrite what was there. I'm going to let it finish, and I'll show you this in full screen mode, and you'll see that it's now very, very, very smooth. And the coloration is quite nice. Um, fish eyes gone, and heck, you're like walking through through one of the actual lion jungles down there and stuff. It's really cool. Now this one wasn't as uh, as intense as as other parts of the country of Mexico, but this was fun. So, anyways, I'll click on here now. And now we've got the full screen, and I'm going to move this into full screen mode. And well, anyways, I'll, I'll just let it play, and you can see it's pretty smooth. Like I mean, this is really, really, really smooth. So you really can't argue with this. So, anyways, that's basically uh, Pro Adrenaline. It's um, it's a great little program, and I would uh, recommend that that anybody actually gets it because if you can't afford the high budgets that that others are um, asking for these really expensive systems 30 40 bucks gets you pro uh, adrenaline i hope you uh, you all uh, like this uh, video and i hope you get something out of it thanks a lot bye now